Hello, Libra viewers. Going to look into what your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, just where their energy is at right now. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so for Libra viewers, what is the situation? going on with Libras so just tell me please make it clear and direct what is what is your person um, could be an ex could be a new partner what are they feeling what are they thinking what are they wanting I know in the last reading I did I got for a lot of you that there was somebody that was going to be um, it seems like a gay or lesbian relationship for a lot not for all of you but for some of you or just some kind of relationship or society like so, like your family didn't approve or there were like some kind of differences, like religious differences, or there is something like that. But this person was aware that they that you're their soulmate, their person, the person they want to spend their life with. Um, and so they were coming back around, you know, they were going to follow their heart and finally stand up for you, whether they're standing up to friends that spread rumors about you, or family that just, you know, didn't didn't approve of, of you too, or whatever it might have been, I just got that energy that, that there was, um, Basically, somebody was just, yeah, they were standing up for you. They were standing up for love. It was a very romantic, very beautiful love story, too. And um, they were just going to follow their heart, finally. And this could be for some of you, too. It could even just be um, standing up to, to their own fears and their own insecurities and the things that held them back in the past, you know? There was just this energy that, like, they were restrained before when it came to your connection but they were, they were just sad and nostalgic over you and they were just thinking about you so much that they had no choice but to finally follow their heart and, and you know, they want to come back around now if they haven't already. But th that energy is there. You know, energy is energy shifts, you know what I mean? So it's like the energy is there. They do want to come back around. Um, you know, some of them will, some of them might not. But, but the energy is very strong for that. Like they are... They're they're not in they're not like in their headspace the way that they were before where they're just being logical and being um, reserved and held back and restrained. They're in this this emotional space right now where they're going to bed and they're thinking about you and they're dreaming about you. There's a strong telepathic communication here too. I think um, they're just really emotional. I just sense this like bittersweet love story. Like they're really you're really on their mind. Like they go out. If they go out in public, they're reminded of you. Or if they hear certain songs, they're reminded of you. Um, it's like they can't just push you out anymore. They were trying to for whatever reason. And again, each story is going to be a little bit different. You know, it's, it's this energy group that I'm reading. But I'm sure for some of you, it's going to be that their family. For a lot of you, it's probably is family or friends that are trying to keep, keep you guys apart. But for others, it was just like just some kind of block or something that was in the way. Like religious difference or... Um, like taking a job out of state or something like that. I don't know. It's just some kind of something, some kind of energy where they were just restrained and they thought that they had to let you go. They thought that was the logical thing to do. They thought there was nothing left to do. And they're finally realizing it and getting through their head that you are their person. You are their true love, that they can't live without you and that they would rather cut these toxic friends out or cut these toxic family members out or cut these toxic belief patterns systems that they have out then lose you you know they're they're finally coming to that realization so again for some of you it's for some of you it is actually them fighting themselves it's actually just them um finally stand like fighting their fear and their insecurities and their like, I just keep hearing logic. So it's like there's some reason they felt like they couldn't be with you, that they, they thought it was a logical decision, but it wasn't. Um, but in their head, it was like they had to, they couldn't be with you. There was some kind of whatever it might be. There was something there that was like logic. Could even be like a third party situation or something where they like they chose the wrong person. And they're like, you know what? Fuck, I can't get over this other person, though. Um you know, even if I, even if you've, if they've known the other person longer, they still know that what they have with you is special and different and unique and they can't just forget it. You know, whatever it is, they're just, whatever it is, they're, they're just, they, they just, yeah, they just can't forget you. So they might, maybe they've been a logical 
reserved, you know, been hot and cold or been kind of cold with you in the past or been, you know, um, not like not cruel. They, this wouldn't, this person wouldn't be cruel. If, it, if it's someone that's cruel and it's not, that's not the same energy that I'm picking up. I mean, they might have been like emotionally, like distant, you know, like they might have ignored you or sometimes when they didn't want to or they might have, you know, maybe you text them and you're like, said something emotional and they wanted to respond but they had to hold back because there was people around them or there was someone around them that was trying to block them um or like again for some of you just their own fears and insecurities but but yeah they're 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 choosing love now they're getting in this heart space they're they've become more and more emotional since the last reading I did even I feel like they're even sadder they're more nostalgic they're more emotional over you like they're reaching that breaking point with you with, like with this connection I feel where they're just like yeah like this is just my person I can't let this go um are there any additional cards here okay let's see what we got Interesting energy. I also get a lot of feeling of um, regret. I feel like a lot of just like pain from this person, you know, like I just get that energy of like, like them, like they're crying over you. I can feel them crying over you, whoever this is, or being emotional over you. Probably not like publicly crying. I feel like this person is more reserved in public. I feel like they're kind of, I feel like they have a lot of like, I feel like they're having a paradigm shift right now, basically. Like I think that they had a lot of like conditioning from either society or their parents or family or whoever. Um, and they're kind of like breaking free of that now. I feel like they were the, like more logical and reserved in the past. And you probably brought out this more sensitive and emotional and free spirited side. Like they felt like a child with you almost. Like I don't know. Does that make sense? Like they felt like their true selves. You know what I mean? Like there was like a side of them that they had suppressed that they didn't show anybody. And that came out with you. You know, you brought that side of them out. You, you put them back in touch with this, this beautiful, pure, free-spirited, innocent kind of side to themselves that they had left behind or that they had deeply suppressed. And that's that side has come out and they can't just ignore it any longer. So they're much more emotional than they have been in the past. And there there's an energy of regret, definitely a strong, I sense a strong pain here. See, I think with the world here, you see the world and the Ace of Swords. You see this, like, look at this harsh energy here that we have. But that's reverse. So I think that, you know, it's kind of like what I was just channeling. It's, it's saying um, that cycle has ended where I think in the past, like, they felt like they had to communicate like that. They had to, they were logical. They were, maybe they could have been like a business person. They could have been kind of one of those business people that, like, almost screws people over. Not, God, how do I explain that energy? I don't want to say they screw people over, but they, like, had, like, a very, like, like, they were more focused on, like, materialistic things, you know what I mean? They were more focused on, like, money and, like, appearance and just, like, shallow things and more, like, logical and, like, okay, this is how the world is. I have to fit into the world. Like, a very, like, logical, reserved kind of person, but you saw through that. You saw the, the, you saw through that whole facade. You saw the, the person underneath all that and you brought that person out, you know? Um, I mean, you brought the good out in them. You brought that person that they had suppressed out. So that's kind of like saying the cycle is ending, the cycle where they communicate in a harsh way or they're distant or they're just, they have this kill or be killed mindset or they're just logical, shallow, or appear shallow to most people that don't know them. It's that kind of energy where it's ending, that that cycle has ended. You you know, you, you and you're, you're, the, you're the majority of that. You, you ended the cycle for them in a lot of ways. I mean, you push them to do the work maybe without even realizing that you were doing it, just your love, your support, just bringing out that good energy and them seeing the best in them really helped them on their path. It really has made them a much better person. It's made them, they're in, back in touch with their soul again. This person should probably do some soul retrieval work though too, I think. That would be useful for them um, with an experienced, a legit experienced shaman. No, you know, be careful. There's a lot of scammers out there, but if you can find a real shaman, 
to do soul retrieval. That's a really, that's, that would help them greatly. I'm reminded of that movie, Sweet November, that it's Keanu Reeves and Charlize Theron. I think it came out in like the 90s or early 2000s. Um, but not, not, this, not the sad ending. If you guys see it, the ending's sad, but not, not that part, but like the rest of it, it kind of reminds me of this energy. Where it's like, it's basically, she, um, she, she kind of, kid, like, she doesn't fully like kidnap these guys, but she like, she's just crazy and like fun and free spirited. And she, um, God, I'm not, I'm not great at describing movies. Am I? <laughs> no, she's, she's fun and she's free spirited. And she, she basically like finds Keanu Reeves and she starts almost like stalking him. Like she, she has him, um, go rescue some some puppies with her that were being uh like experimented on she she shows up at his apartment she um she does all kinds of crazy stuff and then she basically tells him she just wants one month with him to to fall in love with him and just to like have that experience with him and she changes everything for him like she she's just she's so out there and she's so different than his friends and she's so different than like how you know he works like a nine to five stable business typical business job where he's he's focused on that and she just she brings out this beautiful free-spirited side of him she brings out his romantic side so this is kind of what you've done for this person um that's that's that energy i feel it's, it's very similar to that movie i don't it just came up it, um so if you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. You know that energy well. Um, and that's that's how they see you. They see you as this free-spirited, crazy, unique, different kind of... Just they're, You're just their true love. They're like, I'm not going to find that with anybody else. I'm not going to find somebody who understands me and gets me the way this person does. I'm not going to find somebody who I can goof around and be my true self with like I can with this person. You know, it's just it's that kind of beautiful energy. I think that they know they messed up with you a lot, though, because I feel like I see them saying sorry and I see them crying. With the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles, um, it's like you, you're you not giving them that High Priestess energy as much as you were. It's like this divine, feminine, just motherly, nurturing, loving energy. Um with the Six of Pentacles reversed, too, it's like, yeah, like you're not you're not giving as much as you were. You're more... Maybe you're tired of, of reaching out and having them not, not message back or you're tired of, they're really in their head about you. I know that. I mean, they're really in their head in like emotional way. Like they're not being logical the way that they, like not logical, but they're not like, they're not fighting it the way that they were is what I feel. They're actually, the emotion is too strong for them to just fight it. Um, with the two of pentacles though, I think that they are aware that they really need to they need to find a balance, but they know that they need to make this choice. You know, they need to come forward. And they are, it looks like they are coming forward um, with the chariot. See, with the chariot, I do feel like they're making this choice and choosing you and coming forward. Because I don't feel like they can resist you much longer. I mean, there might still be some kinks to work out. There might still be, there might be like a third party situation and there might still be some people they need to stand up to. But I feel like they, I feel like they know that, that whatever their future looks like, they need you in it. Like, I think that they've come to that conclusion and that awareness. You know what I mean? Like they might not know what to do next specifically, but they do know that they need you in their life. With the devil card here, I feel like maybe like addictions are just, you know, being overly logical or just old patterns are ending now. You know, it's reversed. They know that they're they're pushing through that. So they're probably doing a lot of inner work too, pushing through that kind of energy. And they're trying to come forward to you with the chariot and the king of pentacles. They're trying to come forward um, more stable, more balanced, more grounded, more... Um, I mean, they're still, they're, you still bring out that free spirited energy. Like they're coming to you as themselves, but they're trying to come in the, when I say more grounded and more stable, I mean, in the sense that they're, they're not wanting to come back and like have it be, how, you know, have the, the toxic family or friends or the toxic mentality that they had or whatever. They're wanting to present a more stable love offer to you. They want to present something that's more, um, 
more solid. Like they want to make sure they have things figured out. You know what I mean? They don't want to, they want to make sure they're not going to hurt you again. So they're, they are, they are thinking about things, but they're just, they're so emotional though. So I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to resist this. If this is your story and this is your person, like you probably can feel them crying. You can probably feel them missing you. It's that intense. So that's where they're at. Um, and thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. I, I do frequent third party readings. I do, um, I usually do one or two of these um, kind of in-depth readings once a month I do um yeah all kinds of different readings so if this resonates go ahead and subscribe thank you guys for watching oh and if you want to book a private reading from me um my email address is below